Hello everyone, and welcome back to Antimatter Dimensions. So in this video, I'm going to be doing the final run to get to this. So that's kind of exciting. But it will take a very long time, and as for achievements, I am really not sure what we're going to get. I think that we will probably just have to, um, get, um, I'm looking at this, I don't think there's anything I can get in this episode. As long as I get, like, achievements in these rows I didn't know I would. Um, but I don't think that will happen. So, um, I'm just going to, um, start the, um, video and... I really don't think there's any reason that I'm going to have to, um, stop, because you'll kind of know when we're back to where we were. How we already know that it's going to get really slow, we know that I'm going to get to E-130. Um, we know that I'm going to sacrifice, so, um, and you can just watch the news if you want to, but it's really not important that I show you any of them, so... I'm just gonna, um, start, and, um, I'll do the whole run, um, while fasted forward. So, see you, um, in about an hour. Okay guys, as you can see, we're buying the last set of 8 dimensions, which means we are almost here. It has been a while. I don't know exactly how long, but it's been a while. Um, We are up to 41%, and we have 8 dimension boosts, which means that each one will just boost all of the dimensions. Because it was boosting the first one, then the first two, and then the first three, and so on. But now it's boosting all 8. So... Um, that's basically, um, that helps, and just because it give, they're, like, more effective, because they boost all the dimensions, and we are almost here, and so, let's look at everything related to the tick speed. So, it starts at 1,000. On each upgrade, the price goes up by 10 times, and we reduce it by 11%. But after I get one of these, there will be this really subtle change that instead of 11%, it will be 12%. And that doesn't sound very big at first, but the thing is, remember that it's every single order of magnitude. So by the time we're back here, um, the game will be significantly faster. But the boost takes a while to kick in, so um, after I get it, I'll probably just skip until we've got a few resets on our hand so that we can notice the boost a bit more and then um it we will have to push the second one but then after that the game will be a lot faster and then we'll easily be able to get to as it says here infinity and um i'm not going to say what happens after that cuz um uh, but i um 
I just, we're gonna unlock a new mechanic and we're gonna get this achievement. You got past the big wall by an antimatter galaxy. So, um, yeah. And in my main game, I'm over E1 million antimatter. Um, and I'm not sure exactly what works. I'm trying different strategies. And at the moment, um, it's really slow. Like, the growth of the eternity points feels like the growth speed of Cookie Clicker. That's how slow it is. And look, we're literally like one minute away. We are literally like one minute away. Um, so, um, I don't really know what else to say. The game just gets slow and fast and slow and fast. That's how this is. Um, there's probably only one time that the pace sort of changes um, forever. And, well, I mean, like, one time where it basically changes the whole scale of the pace and it persists for the rest of the game. So as you can see, we're ready to get an antimatter galaxy. So I'm going to get that. I noticed as I was opening this game that we got this achievement here. We're playing for eight days. Um, basically, um, it's just playing for eight days, one for each dimension. And so now, um, I just... Um, well, the thing is, some of these achievement rewards, like... Um, Mainly this current achievement multiplier on each dimension one point five times um is um going to um help me get back to where I was, but the twelve percent boost takes a while to kick in, so I'm just gonna do a few um dimension boost runs um and then I will come back to you um afterwards so i'll see you then okay so i'm back first of all i switched it to dark mode because i like it a bit better so i've done the first five dimension boosts because um it was a bit um boring like to um do the first five because the pace didn't pick up that much but it started to pick up a little bit, and I sort of predicted that this is when it would really pick up, because we have a little bit of a gap in our antimatter. We go from 40 to 70, and it's also faster because of the, like, achievement rewards and stuff. So, um, hasn't been as long as in the early game. It definitely felt faster. But I'm going to use my watch to time how long this dimension boost run takes, because um, we have a couple of boosts now. So I'm guessing it would have taken about 25 minutes before. So three, two, one, go. So let's hold down M, do our usual thing. Um, so it's kind of fast at the moment, so I'm going to hold down M. On the last few boosts, it was too slow for that to be necessary. But yeah, I'm going to stop because we're not even at six. So it's not like... We're at the stage where holding M is that useful. Um, so yeah, this is quite fast. This is way faster than any of the first five runs. The pace hasn't picked up yet, because it's a 1% boost for every order of magnitude. So at the moment, it's just mainly the dimension boost and the achievement bonus, but by the time we're at like E40 like or E50, we'll see the galaxy boost kick in. So here, buying these forts, and um, the sixth, and these firsts. So um, I'm actually 
gonna do a cut until um a, for a little while and, and then I'll show you like the pace has changed and I'll just do a cut until we're getting close to the end of the run so see you then okay so I'm back and this is just to show you the first dimensional sacrifice of this galaxy And so, um, I am slowly building my production back, um, and all that slowly, um, yeah, there we go, um, so I think I'm just gonna record from here, you can, you can already tell it's quite a bit faster, maybe, maybe it's just, um, the dimension boost and the achievements, but, um, We'll see if we really notice the pace picking up. It's been about four minutes, and um, so, so we're doing well. I don't know how fast it's gonna be exactly, but um, um, yeah. It's so. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold M while also buying singles when I can. Um, so, um, yeah, um, I only just thought of that now, actually, but maybe that will work. This is not supposed to say orders of magnitude, this is supposed to say but the percentage, um, but this really, this here, this really is like nothing. This is like might as well not be there. Let's do a sacrifice. Um Okay, so um the pace is definitely picking like um up. No, I mean like the sacrifice production is getting up a bit faster than it did when we were here before. Um uh I think that the pace of this is starting to pick up, but I'm not sure. So because the achievements are giving us like a 1.5 1.6 times multiplier, I'm expecting to do this about 1.6 times faster than 25 minutes, so that would be um, um, 16 minutes. So we'll see how much faster than that we go. 16 minutes not taking into account this change. So um, depending on how much faster than that it is, we'll see how powerful the galaxies really are. Like, I mean, there's an upgrade that makes galaxies 50% stronger, and it just makes the game go super fast. It's crazy. Um, I'll show you. Well, it's, um, we're, we're a little bit off that, but it's like, it's way after this, but, um, I'm telling you, it happens. There is a point in the game where that happens. So the next galaxy costs 148 dimensions. We'll get to 80 a lot faster, but getting to 140 will basically take about as long as the last galaxy, maybe a little bit faster, but after that, the game will be a lot faster because it will be, it'll actually go to 14% and it'll be pretty close to the point that um, it grows exponentially. It's probably around 15 or 16. Um, so basically the pace will pick up after the second galaxy and then we'll get to infinity pretty fast. And infinity is exactly where the third galaxy would be. Um So um while the pace is definitely picking up, it's only been eight minutes and we're nearly at the end of 
um, this run. Um, and so, maybe I'll do another run in this video. Oh no, we're not nearly at the end of this run. It's not true. We, we need 35 eighth dimensions, not 30. But, um, if the pace picks up, we might be closer to the end than we think. I can already sort of feel the pace picking up. So, hopefully this goes well. Um, there's really nothing else to see, so I'm probably going to do another cut, and then I'll see you again when we get to the end of this run, and I'll tell you how long it was. Okay, guys. So, we're basically at the end of the run. It's been 16 minutes, but I checked my files, and it turned out that the recording for the um, video where I did this dimension boost run was actually um, 31 minutes. So, I would have expected it to take 20 minutes without that tick speed boost. And um, it was 25% faster, but the boost is only going to pick up more as we go. So, um, again, I'm just going to do this. Hold M. And now the early game is pretty fast. Um, so, um, uh, I'm just going to um, cut until the end of this run, and then I will um, end the video. So, see you then. Okay, guys, so we're almost at the end of the run. And so... Um, yeah, um, I'm kind of bored of doing all these runs in one sitting, so I definitely want to end the video after this, and then, um, in the next video I'll do the, I'll do the runs that, um, took about an hour and a half, um, previously. So, I'm getting, doing this last stretch, getting the eight dimensions. And we are basically on seven dimension boosts post galaxy. So I'm going to reset and finally end the video. Bye! Hi, guys. Welcome back to Antimatter Dimensions. So last time we um, made some progress post galaxy. This part is very boring. It's not going to take hours like last time. But, um, it's definitely not the most fun process. I might be biased because I've seen this game's true potential, but, um, let's do this. Three, two, one. Okay, so now we're going in, as usual. Um, we're buying this stuff, it's fast, kinda, and eventually we'll get eight dimensions, do a sacrifice, do more sacrifices, space 30 minutes apart, and then we'll reach the quota. So, let's do this. Um, so we're nearly got the 8th dimension, and now we are there. Let's sacrifice. There's nothing to see here. So let's just cut. Oh my god, I... Let's cut, okay. Okay, guys, so... I'm almost done with this run. I know it's been very boring. This episode's probably going to be very short. In the next episode, um, I will do the next run after where we left off. So, um, finally beginning somewhere. And that will bring us halfway to infinity. See, we are getting there. 
So now we're on this run, which should um be even faster, but just take the same amount of time. So let's do this. Look at this speed right here. Uh, it's going to slow down, and I'm not happy. Oh my god. Wow. We're at the 8th dimension. So quickly, bro. Okay, sacrifice. I swear that took about 3 seconds. We're still moving strong. <sighs> okay, guys. We're on the final push towards 88th dimensions. The run is seriously not very fun because first of all, we've done it before. Second of all, drone is pretty much the same thing at this stage. Third of all, I'm biased because I know what's up ahead, and um, so I don't know why this symbol looks doesn't even look like chrome, and is it because I signed in? I mean. Okay, I can reset, so we're back to where we were. We have to get to 95. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.